Hi, this is Chris with Erogenous Tones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic shape with UVs and import it into your structure module. To create our shape, I'm going to use a free open source modeling software called Blender. If you are new to Blender, I suggest looking up some beginner tutorial videos available on YouTube to get familiar with the interface and hotkeys. In a new scene, I like to select everything with the A key and delete it. We will not need any lights or cameras in the scene, just the shape we plan on working with. Let's create a simple box and cone. I'll move these around a bit, keeping in mind that the red X axis points towards the camera in the structure. After I have a shape I'm happy with, it's time to start working on the UVs. Before working on the UVs, I like to apply a UV texture helper that allow me to see the UVs as I'm editing. We have one available on our site. I'll put the link in the description below, or you can find one online that you're happy with. Once you have a texture, over in Blender, we'll click on the Material tab on the right, click New, and then click the tab on the right of Base Color. Here, we will want to select Image Texture Click on the Open button and select the UV texture image that we just downloaded. Once this is done, we'll need to toggle the material view on in Blender in the upper right corner. Here we can now see the image on our object and we can see it stretched a little bit in some areas. We will go over a simple, quick UVing method that will work to fix this on most objects. Up top, click on the UV Editing tab to open up the UV panel. Here, we'll see all the UVs of the selected object. You can move the UVs around as well as scale them to the desired size. The cube projection will help us for this shape since it's mostly like a box. You can select a few other projection types here until you find one that works best with your shape. If you do not want stretching on the object, you'll want to try to get the squares to look as perfect as possible all over the object. Sometimes this can be very difficult for complex objects and we'll want to just get them as close as possible. We also want to make sure that the size is correct. If the object is too large, it will clip into the camera and display incorrectly. We want the object to be smaller than a 2x2 two two grid in the center. Luckily, the default sphere is exactly the size that we want it to be. We can create a sphere, then select our shape and scale it down to be just inside the sphere. After this, we'll delete the sphere and be ready to export. You can set the export directory and name of the OBJ file in the top and in the lower left corner we'll set some export options. First, we'll want to uncheck Write Materials and then check Triangulate Faces. Near the bottom, we'll set up the orientation options. Make sure X forward is set for forward and Y up is set for up. After this, you can click on Export and copy the OBJ file over to your structure module and see how it looks.